with Hannah. I'm Hannah and I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. I have a crisis here and we're going to sort it out together just so that you can sort out your own crises if they ever happen in the future. Now can you see what's happened? I have knitted all of this. I've done so many rows and then I've turned back. I've looked at it from afar and realised I've missed out that brown stitch from the tree trunk there. These are obviously supposed to be Christmas trees. So we have a red stitch in the middle of a tree trunk and all of the others are two brown stitches. So I would probably normally say it doesn't matter. No one's really going to notice and if they do it's just a mistake. Nobody's perfect. But I thought I would show you just in case you wanted to fix it. If anything ever happens like this, maybe you notice it and you're only three rows above it instead of all the way above it like I am. Um, but we can take it all the way back and we can get through this together. We can work out what's gone wrong and how we can fix it. So first thing to do is to knit all the way along to this stitch, which is exactly where it leads all the way down to here. There's only one stitch we have to unravel. Only one stitch all the way down there. It's not about taking all of them off of here. It's just that one row of a single stitch. So I'm going to knit all the way along there. But this kind of thing can happen when you're knitting with colour. It can happen with more complicated patterns than this, I'm sure. Um, and it can also happen when you're knitting in stripes, in your just missing a stripe... Um, Maybe you've slipped a stitch um, instead of knitting it by mistake. Um, so this is very similar thing to um, how you'd repair that kind of thing too. Right, am I at the right Christmas tree? Almost. Yes, I'm just there. Now, so I'm going to make sure I've got a lot of room on the end of this needle so those stitches aren't going to fall off. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing with this needle. I'm going to take off that stitch that needs to be unraveled and pull that needle out there. And then what I'm going to do is I have my trusty crochet hook. It's exactly the same size as the knitting needles. You can use a slightly larger size or a slightly smaller size. It doesn't have to be perfectly fitted, whichever you feel comfortable using. And I would gently, using the crochet hook, I will probably actually use the blunt end. Just let that stitch unravel all the way down that column of stitches there. And we're just giving ourselves all of those steps. And we have to go all the way up those steps again when we recreate those stitches. There we go. And now we're reaching the coloured bit, so we have to just do that a little bit more carefully, a little bit more cautiously, make sure all of the colours are still there. We have the orange, goldy colour for the top of the tree, and all of those green steps are there. All the way down. Now, because I missed this brown stitch all the way down here, behind it there will be a strand of brown yarn because I was doing the stranded colour work. But as I got down here, so as I get down here rather, you will see that it's probably going to be that little bit tighter behind. There you go, that's that green stitch coming out. And I can see it now. So I've pulled this red thread through instead of picking up the brown thread. So I'm going to put my crochet hook through the brown stitch that's perfect underneath it. I'm going to let that red stitch just sit behind and I'm going to pick up that brown thread there. It's there waiting to be used as a stitch and yes, like I say, it may feel a little bit tight because it wasn't used as a stitch. So I just have to gently ease it in. And then we move our way up, just picking up the green thread for the start of the Christmas tree 
and the next one and the next one and the next one all the way up that Christmas tree and then at the top there's the gold one it's a very simple process it's just repeating exactly what you've just undone there you go that was very simple because I undid it so gently all of those stitches were ready and waiting to just be picked up again it's about taking your time and letting it happen slowly and gently it can be really scary when this kind of thing happens. It can be really scary just to take the stitches off of the needle in the first place. But we've only unravelled one stitch. So that ladder there is just ready and waiting to be used. We're going to pick up all of these stitches here. Is that the orange stitch or is that actually a red stitch? Let me have a look at the back because there was a stranded piece of red there. I don't want to create a stitch that isn't there. There we go. That was the stranded red. So I just missed that one. And pick up that. And double check it. No, I read that wrong. So I'm going to go back just one step at a time, looking at where you might have made mistakes, like I did there. I've just picked up the orange one again, and that red one there is the next row of stitches. Each row will be its identical colour to all of the other Christmas trees, and you have them there. So just check against, and all the way up here, I know these red stitches all match next to each other. So I'm not going to make a mistake. And it may look uneven as you come back up, because it's not be, these stitches haven't been knitted. I'm using a crochet hook to make them. But it will just even out as you carry on knitting, as the fabric is used, as the hat is worn. It will look a lot better than you think it might. There you go. I'm just going to stretch that a little bit, pull it, push it in place. And that Christmas tree is a lot happier now. It has two brown stitches instead of one. And all of those green stitches are in place properly with the um, golden star at the top. And then I'm ready to put this stitch back on the needle so it can be knitted. There we go. You can see the live thread is here on the right hand needle. And I can just carry on knitting along this row now. There we are. I can carry on. And that is it. That is picking up coloured work when you've made a mistake. It's about unravelling it, doing it slowly, just taking your time and seeing what's gone wrong and how it can be fixed without unravelling so many rows of stitches. You only have to unravel one. It's um, a lot easier than it appears when you first notice the crisis. Okay, well, thank you for joining me. If you like the look of this pattern, then head on over to my website. You can see it there. I'm knitting a baby hat here. It's um, it's right there waiting for you with my Christmas baby hats. And I will see you over there, I hope. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Happy knitting.